When Daphne Carana Galizia was assassinated, it affected me massively and I felt I had to do something. The implications for the whole country, in fact for all of Europe, were and are terrifying. The shock and the horrendous blow to freedom of speech demanded action. Malta has been my inspiration and my second home for seven years and I questioned what I could do as a professional artist. I wanted to not only honour this fearless journalist but also keep her memory alive, also in the face of those, not least her murderers, who would prefer to eradicate her memory. Creating a portrait of her seemed the obvious way to go and the perfect location for it was soon found. The European Parliament had just named the press room in Strasbourg after Daphne Caruana Galizia. The European Parliament and Daphne's family agreed to this and the long process of creating the portrait started. I spoke to her husband and I visited her home. And through all this, I got to know a woman who put art and beauty before practicality and who consistently put integrity before convenience and even before her own safety. I felt this had to be a large portrait, Daphne was not discreet, and that it had to be made from a single sheet of copper. It had to be straightforward, assertive and forceful, while still giving her a context. This was done by creating smaller pieces of etched and patinated metal to be fit into one side of the asymmetrical frame. The portrait itself is created from etched copper. I covered selected parts of the surface with bitumen. This resist protected the copper in the subsequent nitric acid bath. The portrait was etched over the course of eight days. I checked on it constantly, touched it up and adjusted the concentration of the etchant five to six times a day. When the chemicals had etched the copper deeply enough, I took the portrait out of the bath and removed the protective bitumen. I normally patinate my metals to achieve different colors, but in this portrait, I wanted to use printer's ink. The same ink, in fact, which was used at one of the printing presses in Malta that previously printed Daphne Caruana Galizia's words. On the right-hand side of the portrait, I placed the marginal notes. 
I wanted the portrait to have a relevant context, without it being an illustration of her life. I used elements from her life and from her home, as well as leaves from her garden. I used Article 11 from the EU's Charter of Fundamental Rights, dealing with freedom of expression and information. And I used Daphne's last words, written on her blog in the last half hour of her life. All of these were etched into copper, bronze and brass, at times etching all the way through the metal. I then used different chemicals and techniques to patinate the metals, achieving a great variety of colours. The portrait and all of these contextual marginal notes were mounted on a wooden frame constructed especially for it, creating one unified work. When a journalist is killed, we're all worse off. We all lose. She was controversial, yes, but whether you agreed with her or not, unless you're a criminal or corrupt, you lose. When integrity becomes a scarcity and entitlement and impunity spread, we can't be silent. When freedom of speech is attacked, we all need to war with outrage. And when time passes and no one is held to account, that outraged roar doesn't fade. It multiplies in strength and in volume. It manifests itself in ways that cannot be silenced. This is my roar.